I've been noticing this a lot lately. See right in here, look. It's got that freaking that mushroom cloud type shape. That's the second one I seen today. I mean, it's not very it's not like taking up a very big space in the sky. Look, it's kind of hidden down in here. But I'm just I'm just showing you that these things do show up and they show up. Oh, they've been showing up kind of often. Uh which is uh I never used to see clouds like that before. Not not in such a high frequency anyway. And then see? All right, it's up here in this tree, okay? But right here there's one, but it's upside down. It's like a flip inverse and the colors changed. So some weird's going on here. And uh I watched a video about harp and basically they shoot these beams through the ionosphere at an angle and then they bounce back down and then bounce up off the earth again up into the sky and bounce back down somewhere else so it's kind of like in theory they could bounce a freaking image a fake image over a vast a vast distance and it's kind of like like you know like when you see a mirage and you see it looks like water on the on the uh out in the middle of nowhere and uh kind of like that there there is optical illusions that do happen or when you're when you're driving down the road and uh it, the road will look like it's it's melting or it's fuming or it's steaming but it's not it's just some for some reason something to do with high and low uh pressure and look at this triangle right here looks like a freaking triangle triangular craft as well uh, we got this big round poof ball. Yeah, and the clouds really are taking on a... It's weird. It's like once they get a certain distance away from the sun, something happens where they start to like almost like melt or disintegrate or dissolve. Yeah. Uh... Oh, wow, look. Right back here. Looks like freaking Pennywise right here, look. In a way, kind of. Oh, well, it does to me anyway. And that is funny too, because now that I'm looking back on Stephen King, this has been going through my mind uh, about how this, this, the this demon, this principality, this local principality, basically what uh, that movie It and Pennywise, this clown creature, is about. And this creature basically plays off everyone's fears, and then the it actually feeds off when someone does something negative to someone else and causes trauma and pain. It's like this thing is not far off. It knows somehow. And there's a, a documentary I, call, I watch called The Mystery of Water. And it talks about how water has memory. I mean, in the Bible, that's even biblically uh, referenced and backed up because it says that three things bear witness in the earth. The blood... The blood, the water, and the spirit, I think. Could be wrong on one of those. Look, here's one of those things. It's, uh, they're called Oni. It's like a Japanese warrior that wears these freaking scary masks to, to scare off the demons. Or they look like demons to scare the demons. They, it's something like that. And I've seen someone made a video about it. It's like, look, look at this circle show up right here. Okay, anyway, back to this Pennywise thing. And... All right, we've had this flint water thing go down, and uh, they say lead causes people to, like, basically be easily upset, be easily angered. You know, uh, it, like, has, a, has an effect on people's aggressiveness. Uh, well, you know, when you feel like crap, when you feel like crap, people do get, they get, they have less patience, and they normally are more more quick to snap so you know if you got everyone feeling like crap and malnourished and full of uh toxins uh in a way it'll it'll seed the atmosphere of the place whatever place is under the poisoning to uh you know it'll there's deeper levels but it's funny that it it was about like he was basically in the water 
and and then they go to this old closed down water factory and that's this thing's dwelling place and they find a lair in there with all these sucked sucked human beings and it's like a big spider creature but uh it's it's funny like i said like like i feel like stephen king he's a good good writer whatever true but i don't think that he makes everything up that he writes about. I think he he's has help, insider help, or some kind of occult insider that that kind of gives him the, the fucking bird creature that gives him like you know like uh, uh, whatever we're looking for inspiration or <clears throat> this looks like a gremlin right in where is it? Oh, right here um and it, it was really accurate. Uh, if you look at the mystery of water and how that works, uh, like the water has memory. And it also does say, like, look, innocent blood defileth the land. Uh, blood is four fifths water. So, I mean, there's this is a reoccurring theme here. The Batman movies, two two Batman movies, both of them that had, well, the one uh, with the scarecrow in it, he basically dumped some kind of hallucinogen inside the water that makes everyone freak out and uh basically go uh on a frenzy rampage and i mean you can look at they say that the salem witch trials happened because basically the people were poisoned from a, a fungus that was inside of uh rye rye bread so and it caused all them to have uh like mass hysteria and hallucinations. So, uh, but in the, in that movie, and uh, in Batman, and the one with the Joker with Jack Nicholson, it was talking about they were gonna poison different different products, and uh, it was gonna cause people to. Uh, <laughs> it was gonna have uh, an effect on people's psyche. Anyway, I don't know. I'm just I'm just trying to uh connect some dots man you know i could be off here and reaching but i don't know it's just been it's been in my mind and they just re-released a new version of that movie it uh so 